And so it's just a marvelous time to be alive, for, for we healers and uh, we uh, uh, empaths and we uh, uh, people who uh, want to see people raised up in con and lifted up in consciousness. Uh, we are uh, uh, sender, senders in consciousness, uh, uh, sended, uh, whether you uh, consider yourself a sended master or just a person who is growing in consciousness. It's a marvelous day for you. Uh, uh, it's a marvelous day for us to begin to realize our immortality and our power and our strength and just how immortal we are we don't we realize that we, we may come to realize we're immortal but we don't we don't realize how immortal we are and, and what the, all that means how many dimensions that that immortality covers oh man there's there's just thousands and thousands and thousands and you know infinite amount of dimi of di dimensions which uh, we uh, have uh, are going to have over the next uh uh uh, time in eternity over all that time in eternity uh, of years and years and years and years as we're measuring them here on this earth years and years and years of time time which is really the eternal now that eternal now which is going to be present throughout eternity uh, we have all of those dimensions to explore we have all of those different galaxies to explore and we're going to see every one of them before it's through uh, it, I say it's through it's hard to visualize how something goes on and on and on and on and so you keep wanting to say before it's through but but uh, we're going to visualize all of that uh, throughout eternity keep visualizing it and keep visualizing it so why not just start now lifting our consciousness because look at all that we've got to all that distance we've got to go uh, we need to get started on it and so uh, I'm gonna uh, keep it going and I know that uh, Tanya Love is gonna help me keep it going and I'm gonna get her going here so she can uh, can get that spiral moving up even more uh, you know i'm excited and thrilled this morning full of every kind of energy and so uh, uh she may not be able to do any more for me this morning uh, uh, dr tanya may not be able to heal me any further this morning uh, but every time i say that i turn out to be a liar because she always comes up with a better idea a new idea uh, raises consciousness a little more something i hadn't thought about or it's just somehow or another that infinite mind uh, gets uh, our source uh, uh, it gets me to uh, uh, to put app, happen to put on the, the exact uh, uh, exact program uh, that has exactly what I needed, and so it just uh, seems that way. I don't know what which it is, uh, but I always seem to get the right program on that just gives me that next step that I need. Uh, and she seems to just say the right thing every time, and so I'm going to get her going here, and then I'm going to finish uh, uh, fixing my copy. Uh, I've got this uh, black copy. I, it, it's just a, a marvelous copy that I'm going to have uh, before the day's uh, out. Oh, yes, I've got a little packages here. and Oh, yeah, I'll put them before I, uh, before I uh, go out uh, and make rounds and all. I'll, see, I'll put these in my uh, in my top pocket here and uh, put them in my coat pocket. Some of them in my pack, some of these other kinds in my coat pocket, suit coat pocket before I uh, make the rounds and all. And then uh, I'll be, uh, I'll have them everywhere that I'm at. All I have to do is have a cup of water. <laughs> I won't carry that cup of water in my suit coat, but there's, there's hot water everywhere. You know, it's always microwave everywhere. Uh, and, and so uh, you get, all you got to do is get that hot water in a styrofoam cup, pour it, put a little of this in there, got your cup, your coffee ready to go, and it goes right along with you. It's just a little small, real small little package, you know, but it contains uh, enough of that coffee. You can all, you can make two cups easily out of it. You know, it's uh, it you it, it tastes nice. Uh, one cup or two cups, either way. And uh, so uh, I'm going to uh, always, uh, I'll always, uh, always keep that with me all the time. I always keep that with me. And uh, and then I've got this uh, uh, Cafe Supreme. Uh, you know, for uh, later on uh, afternoon, uh, I'll probably drink that. Uh, oh, it's just got such a sweet malty. Uh, uh, nice flowing uh, uh, taste to it. Uh, uh, they got some kind of secret uh, uh, flavoring in there, but it just tastes like kind of like you're getting a, a malt, mixing a little coffee in your malt, in your in your vanilla malt or something. And it just it's just marvelous. It really they really got the right name on that when they call that supreme. Well, I mean that's just that's a supreme that's a supreme taste. And so I'll have that, and then I'll, I'll uh, uh, probably save this latte until I I get into a. Uh, relax mood uh, uh, and, uh, and and start to kind of relaxing down this evening uh, uh, watching a movie or listening to a uh, smooth jazz or or uh, 
going over, uh, may probably listen to Tanya Love, because I listen to her most of the time, and I keep her on in the background while I'm doing my other work and, and everything, and, and I kind of keep her on in the car and keep her on everywhere I'm at. I, uh, I keep her going all the time, and and uh, and so, uh, but I'll relax down and and uh, and I'll get out my uh, my journals and begin to write in them and and uh, read, uh, go over these uh, little meditations that I have in this here, uh, this Jerry Hick, Eastern Jerry Hicks, and books like that, and books by Deepak Chopra for balanced energy. And, uh, and uh, as I begin to do that, well, I'll have a cup of this. Uh, a uh, cup of latte and, and just relax down and enjoy my evening and have a nice enchanting uh, uh, evening, uh, a nice uh, adventure field uh, evening of uh, drinking uh, this. Uh, it's just like a, uh, it just tastes like you uh, you got ice cream and coffee mixed together, uh, but you, but it's nice and warm and, and hot and, and just goes down good. And so I'll uh, have that later. <coughs> I want to get Tanya going. I'm anxious to hear what she's got to say and see how much higher she can get me this morning. Oh, I know it. She always uh, manages to raise my frequency. And, oh, I tell you what, I can use all, I, I, I love all that raised frequency. Oh, I love all that energy. I love all of that. Uh, and all that just, oh, I just, I can take all of that. And, and she always, it, it always uh, does uh, raise it uh, up a little bit. Uh, and I, so I'm excited about seeing what she's going to come up with this morning. And uh, it's just a, a marvelous uh, uh, that I've got this available. Tanya. Well, one of the things I shared on Facebook today is it's a yeah. and it says the only thing making you unhappy are your own thoughts. There you are. That's what it was. That, uh, what exactly what it was that raised the frequency. That. Indeed, this is true. That's the only thing to make you unhappy. So the feeling of resistance with this within yourselves, tune into that. Observe the habit of resistance. Honor what you have and honor what you feel. Have the courage to see it clearly and the wisdom to release, release, release. All that is bringing you that heavy, depressing feeling. Oh, yeah. And, and one of the guys commented on it and he wrote, and I love this because he speaks of Dharma and he said, unhappiness, anger, depression, these are a result of mindful conflict. Dharma, no harma. The rules that govern this place. Forgetting, and these are the universal laws as dharma. <laughs> Forgetting that we are consciousness and happy oh, wants yeah. and desires in the pursuit of happiness of objects results in our conflict with dharma. So like when we are more focused, let's say at the holidays we're focused on our wants and our desires, but they're not here. We haven't received them yet. We can get our focal point really on a lot of external things that we're chasing to yeah. give us a sense of fulfillment. And it can really be an amazing awakening opportunity, or you can just stay unconscious and suffer deeply. But it's all about staying focused on that, the universal laws Bye. and not losing our focal point that we hey, are we infinite consciousness and that we need to get in this place yeah, I feel, where we practice this more universal patience like this divine patience is such a beautiful thing to stay connected with because oh, yeah. all beautiful things that you desire will come to you at the divinely aligned yes. and so it's not thinking like if i have a desire that hasn't shown up then i just need to throw in the towel and think oh you know i could never have that it's just too big of a dream i am a big dreamer and i believe to go for those big dreams i feel like uh, if, it, if there's anything I've mirrored to all of you on the show over the last year and a half is that Tanya Love is not afraid to take holographic leaps not afraid. and to make bold changes and shifts in her life when she knows that this is what her okay. soul is calling her to do. But at the same time, I have this deep place and you know awareness within of patience, of the divine patience and the timing of everything. So... In the holiday times, it can be a test for us because if we look outside of the world that's teaching that joy and happiness come from consumerism and from gift giving and gift getting and just busy parties and being socially accepted and like being involved in all the, you know, glamour, then we can really suffer. And if, if we remember that our dharma is the universal law, that we are, we are consciousness we are infinite vast consciousness forever moving forever expanding forever flowing. Oh, yeah. nothing can be taken from us you know that is really ours we're consciousness we're going to keep on moving no matter what 
And if we can remember that and just stay present in this now moment, no matter what that now moment is on the calendar, whether it's December 25th or December 17th, it doesn't really matter. It's staying present and keeping that balance within. Then we can hold a focal point of what we love and desire, but we give it time. We let the universe work out all the details in bringing us what we desire, what we deserve. And on that note, a lot of what is causing, I feel, a lot of human struggle is not, <coughs> excuse me, not that they're not getting what they desire, but at a deep level, we feel we oh, don't deserve. Yes. We feel we're undeserving. And undeserving. then we go into times where our ego says, no, I deserve yeah. more than they do. And now I'm pissed. And then it's like, no, actually, I deserve oh. nothing. And it's this very bipolar dance. But when we come into the middle way and we stay centered, and this is what meditation offers, we stay in that place of stillness and we remember we are vast consciousness. Oh, yeah. We are loved. We are supported. We are infinitely supported. And we can stay in that space of allowing. And then whatever shows up in our movie, we can be grateful for. So, you know, some people might have a focal point on what they didn't get at Christmas or didn't get in any particular day and they suffer and then there's those that maybe didn't get even as much as they got but they're grateful for whatever they did get and so when we stay in a place where we're grateful we're going to feel better no matter it doesn't matter how fancy your outfits are or how much you know how many presents you got under the tree this year because you all know this very quickly that feeling that high that we get when we get stuff, that high is a distraction, and we feel high temporarily, and then there's like this creepy low feeling that comes in, just like uh, any kind of addiction. <laughs> you get the high from the drug, and then there's that yucky feeling afterwards, and we need to start really paying attention to that so that we can find our middle way. We can oh, find yeah. balance. Don't have because to have it. it's not from consumer consumerism. It's not from getting. I feel our joy is from gratitude. So I'm going to oh, pause yeah. if anyone's commenting because I feel like I'm going to choke. So one oh, second. that's a good problem. <laughs> um, no, nobody, nobody yet. Okay. Yeah. Everybody's just saying Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everybody. Nice. Thank you. Well, you guys write in, share some of your stories. If any of Christmas you have been, all year round. You know, be vulnerable today. If any of you kind of have been depressed the last couple of days, and you're like, man, Tanya, I really had a shitty Christmas. And, and talk, talk to me about that so we can process and tune in on it. And those of you that have had an amazing oh. holiday, talk to me about that. Oh, like, I'd love to hear back from you. So share that feedback. Um, back to this guy's comment on Facebook, what he said was, forgetting that we are consciousness and happy in favor of wants and desires and the pursuit of happiness in objects, result in con our conflict in our dharma. Change your mind by remembering oh, that we are pure yes. awareness, mm. unchanging, full, and complete. The unmet they desires and experiences coffee. of the object world will fade and the joy and bliss of our true oh. nature will once again be self-evident. Never knew taste. Coffee and I can taste so good. I agree with that. I feel like gratitude is what's going to help amplify all of our vibration. And for some of you, I'm if you're struggling coffee. with oh, yeah. a space of gratitude, sometimes we do need to just get outside and we need to connect with nature. Oh, yes. Yeah. We need to kind of get back to the life and be simple and not have so much distraction, oh. busyness. And <clears throat> it can be amazingly rejuvenating and restorative to oh. just take a little walk oh, in coffee. the forest and be quiet with the trees and just feel gratitude and just connect with the energy of the forest at any given season and notice how it's reflecting back to you. Uh, a, a way of being a way of living and being and thriving and so if in the winter time we're feeling tired and we feel like we're yeah. still being conditioned to go and be busy but we go into the forest and everything's quiet yeah. and everything's kind of pulled in everything's gone inside for hibernation this can be such a beautiful thing that we could also 
align with and we could also find our balance with nature and we can honor that need to go inward the need to go into the dark